Okay, here we have x symbol y is equal to x times y minus y. Okay, x and y are positive integers. We want to know which of the following answer choices cannot equal zero. Well, if we put, or if we look at this expression and we factor out the y like this, we get y is times x minus 1 is basically this expression. We can look here and say, well, look, if x is 1, then the expression is going to equal 0. And so we can get rid of answer choice A because it's simply repeating this. So if I plug in x for uh, 1 for x here, there's 0. That can't work. y, or rather b, is y symbol x. And all I'm doing is reversing it. So I'm putting where y, y, where x is. So if y is equal to 1, then again, this gets me 0. And I'm looking for which answer choice cannot equal 0. Let's look at C, what happens here. Well, I'm plugging in x minus 1 where x is. So here's x plugging in x minus 1. So basically, I'm getting y, x minus 1, minus 1, which is y times x minus 2. How do I make this expression here equal to 0? Well, I plug in the value 2. So if x is 2, then hey, it's equal 0. Let's look at D, though. x plus 1. What happens when I plug in x plus 1 up here? Well, let's bring it down here. You see y times x plus 1 minus 1. What does that leave me with? y times x. If x and y are both positive integers, there's no way you can get 0 out of this expression. Therefore, this is the answer.